For this experiment, you're going to need a tea bag, three small glasses, like juice glasses, a paper towel, a coffee filter, a funnel, scissors, a tea kettle or pot, a stove, a spoon for stirring, and a pile of two to three books. The pile needs to be at least three fourths as high as one of the glasses. And of course, your textbook. So for experiment 15.2, the first part is we're going to get a pot or a kettle of water boiling. We only need about a cup of water in the end. So let's go to the kitchen. You like that? It's not gonna work watching water boil. Wow. Okay. Cause it, basically it wants to, what's the word? Um, what's the word? So we're getting our water boiling on the stove. What's the word? In spite of you looking at it, it's gonna, it's gonna not, it's not gonna, it's, it's not gonna boil when you're looking at it, but if you turn away for a minute, it's gonna start boiling. Really, you think so? Yeah. Oh, do we have our water boiling? So do we have our water boiling? Yes, we So now we're only gonna need about a cup of water in the end. For our second step, we're gonna use the scissors to cut open the tea bag, spilling the contents into one of the small glasses. We're gonna let the water cool for one minute. We're almost there. <laughs> okay, be very careful the water is hot, but for step four, you're going to carefully pour the hot water into the glass that contains the contents of tea. Since we boiled more than we needed, he said you needed about a cup. It's about a half cup, so we'll do another half cup too. Okay. For step five, you're gonna use the spoon to stir the hot water with the contents of the tea bag. Do this for a while until the water becomes a nice deep brown color. Do not try to dissolve all the contents of the tea bag. This would be very hard. Just make sure the water is brown. <laughs> like your eyes, yeah. Stern, do you think that's a deep brown color? Yes. Yes. So, next we're going to place the coffee filter into the funnel so you can pour something into the filter. You may have to hold it there and you may need another person to help if necessary. I think ours is small enough, we won't have to. Yeah. That's too high. Pick up a glass with the water tea, but be careful, it could be very hot. And you're gonna carefully pour the solution into the glass so it fills the coffee filter. You're gonna put the filter in the funnel and the funnel in the glass. You may need help to hold the filter in place, but right now you're gonna be very careful and pick up your glass and pour the solution in the glass so it fills the coffee filter. Do it slowly so the water filling the coffee filter never rises above the top of the funnel or the top of the filter. The water will pass through the coffee filter into the funnel. Then it will fall down the funnel into the glass underneath. No. No. What the heck? We did make a little mess. You might need more than one paper towel. 
Once most of the water has drained through the filter paper and funnel, put the filter paper funnel system aside and look at the solution in the glass that was underneath and note its appearance. We still still have some, right? We can note the appearance compared to the last one. Mm -hmm. What do you see? It is. It is a very pretty. And especially for our dogs, it kind of looks like a honey. Mm -hmm. So now we're going to set the glass with a solution in it on top of the pile of books. So we have our stack of books, and now we're going to put the glass with the solution in it on top of the pile of books. So now we need to get another paper towel because we just used it to clean up our mess. We'll see. So now we're going to fold the paper towel in half lengthwise. So now what we're going to do is put one end of the long thin paper towel into the solution in the glass so the end touches the bottom of the glass. Now bend the other end of the paper towel and position the remaining empty glass so the end of the paper towel is in that glass. Do not put the remaining glass on the pile of books. The glass with the T needs to be higher than the remaining glass. In the end, you should have two glasses, one with a brown solution sitting on the pile of books in one empty glass sitting on the table or counter next to the pile of books. The long thin paper towel should be have an end in both glasses forming a bridge between the two. We might need to lower our stack. Yep, we have to lower our stack. It needs to be touching them. Well, we might not need to have such a tall thing, so we'll try taking another book away. But it has to be taller. It is still taller. Okay. That's the closest it's going to get. Now we are going to wait an hour. You can see here where the water is starting to creep into the other glass. So, one hour later, this, <laughs> this is what we have come to. What do we see? Well, one, that's wet. <laughs> and I guess it traveled all the way up here and that's higher than it was. Well, there was nothing in it before. Mm -hmm. So that's low, that's high, got a bridge. Mm -hmm. And it's lighter and darker. That's lighter and darker, yeah. It's kind of hard to see on camera, but the lower glass is definitely lighter than the higher glass. Mm -hmm. Okay. So if everything went well, we should have seen, but passing through the filter paper, the tea you made was a clear brown solution with no tea leaves floating in it. So when we poured it through the coffee filter, do we have any grounds left in there? I don't think so. In here or there? In the cup we poured it into. No. No. So that was one type of filter. So after the, after the next step, we have the bridge. Mm -hmm. And the bridge moved all the... What are we calling this? The that was the original tea. No, the solution thing. Yeah. Into that cup, and it's like filtered through this thing. The paper towel absorbed both the water and the tea. The water and tea began to travel along the paper towel. The paper towel ended up allowing some of the water and some of the tea to pass through, but much in a much weaker solution. Yep. 